Hello everybody and welcome, or should I say, welcome back to Peglin. It's been a hot second since we played this game and uh, I really liked it and I'd like to start repping in a few more indie games on the channel, so I figured Peglin's a great one. Now I have beaten this game all the way to Crucible 15. I spent a lot of hours doing it, but I, I figure we'll kind of, I want this to be kind of a fun run, so I'm going to bring it back into, uh, oh hell, let's do... Let's do Crucible 5. Keep it keep it fun. Keep it loose. Ooh, uh, one more discard or oh, bombs detonating in one hit is such a good is such a good thing to do. And we've got the easy boss. Now, I you know, I've always wanted to do more more indie games on this channel. I really enjoy doing doing indie games. Uh, it's just really fun for me, and I'm going to actually fast-forward this a little bit just to keep things... Just to give this, uh, the illusion that progress is being made. Uh, and, I've and I've seen lately that I played Penguin back when it was... I guess it's still in technically beta, but... An earlier beta? And I really... I just love this game so much. I've got a couple dozen hours in it already. Not the most of anybody, I will admit, but, you know, it's really fun. And our goal today is to win. I've, I'm pretty much, after after trying to beat the Crucible 15, which was, it took me so many days to beat that. I was having the worst, the worst luck trying to beat that. Ooh, do we get a Swoltorb? Yeah, I figure Swoltorb's a really good orb. I want to hit up as many bosses. I'm going to aim for that boss in that shop, so it doesn't really matter which way I go. Ooh, this map. This one's really fun. I really wish I had the overwhammer so I could do overflow damage, because this is going to be a really big hit that's kind of wasted on such a weak enemy. Yay, 48. Not enough to kill the stupid enemy. Well, kind of butchered that shot, but that's all right. So I just got back from, uh, for those of you who follow along in my community's shit, I just got back from, like, Disney World. And I love that place to death, but... Damn, Disney is not a non-for-profit charity these days. It used to not be so bad, but it's... I'm now poor, and I'm also trying to pay for home renovations. Some of you might ask, was it responsible to go do a Disney trip while I'm trying to pay for home renovations? Absolutely not. It was not responsible. But do I, as I, a human being, still need vacation? <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, we're moving. I'm moving the room that my kitchen is in. My kitchen is moving to where my dining room is. My dining room is moving to where my kitchen is, and my bathroom's getting bigger. I've spent so much on contractors. Oh. Ah! Nailed it. First shot, no problem. Ooh, the hammer. The warb hammer. That's actually really, really good. And we'll upgrade the... Oh yeah, we're going to just upgrade that right away. Now, that I'm not going to claim that this is a comprehensive guide on how to play... Peglin, if you're coming to me to play Penguin, you've come to the wrong place. I am not... Yeah, got the bomb baton. Three more bombs. I am not who you should be modeling your Penguin, your Peglin runs after. Yes, I did beat... Uh, I did beat uh, Crucible 15, but... Barely. Oh, crap. I butchered that real bad. Oh, yeah. All right, once more for effect, with feeling this time. Oh, that was, oh, that was, mwah, chef's kiss. You love to see it. Oh my God, I just said you love to see it. All right, well, I might as well embrace my cringy, my cringy streamer lingo. Let's go, boys. Haha, <laughs> blaze it. No scope. Yeet. Skirt. Uh, Vic Ferrari. Come on. Come on! Yeah, there we go. 
Ooh, a Nosferbatu? Heals you for... Yeah, I need some form of healing, and we'll... Save our pennies. I want to go... Nice. We're going to hit this question mark, that boss, that shop. Ooh, the board can just containing an extra crit is fantastic. I, with this build here, I was really hoping for, like, bombs? More bombs? But I haven't seen any. Oh, I gotta tell you this fantastic story from vacation. So, my mom and I, my mom is, my mom is, uh, my mom and I are both, like, uh, both have, like, Delta credit cards, but my mom spends enough money to be, like, one of those platinum diamond medallion, fuck you, I'm better than you and I know it members. Which is awesome. So, uh, because I fly with her, we get, like, free upgrades and stuff. So, we pay for back-of-the-bus seats, and we, and we get upgraded. Uh, which is really weird. Uh, so, this was the first, uh, plane trip that I, uh, that I actually got to fly first class. Uh, that was, it was really, really cool. Uh, I, we were treated, we were treated fantastically by Delta and Delta staff. We've had very good luck with that, uh, airline. Uh, Delta, we beat the competition, not you. But anyways, so, uh, we get on, we, we, uh, we fly into Atlanta, right? And our plane terminal is, we're getting to, like, Terminal A in Atlanta. And we're in, chilling in, uh, we get into Terminal A, and our flight is at a Terminal F. So we're on all the way on the other end of the airport in Atlanta. Uh, I've never even been... I've flown through Atlanta a few times going down to Disney World. You know, that's a major travel hub if you're going that way. But I've never been into this Terminal F. It turns out, this is where all the international flights fly out of. So for some reason, Delta had to transfer some big plane from uh, Atlanta to Orlando. So we got to fly in that. And we got bumped up again to first class. I'm holding on to my... Oh, the overwhammer. But also this one giving us extra... I'm going to take this one. It's very early on. The extra max health is nice. So anyways, we're flying here out of Atlanta. So we we have the international... We have the plane that's supposed to be for international flights. Flies down to Orlando because of a transfer or something like that. Oh, there we go. That's going to be a super good item. And uh, we got upgraded from Comfort Plus and Delta to First Class. And I got to ride, and we got to ride in, like, the cool little uh, apartment, or the cute, the cool little, like, pods. Which was a really, ooh, the Echo Chamber. Yeah, the Echo Chamber, that's a fan. Ooh, I can actually, should be able to get the extra free chest. Ver this is just going fantastically. So I got to ride in, like, the cool little apartment pods. Uh, my family's always talked about wanting to, like, take a trip to Europe. Um, eh, duplicate a random orb, I guess. Oh, Swoltor. Oh, yeah, Swoltor getting upgraded is fine. I went the wrong way. I didn't actually want to go that way. My bad. So I got to ride in the cool little apartment pods, which was just the, which was the coolest thing. So me and my mom are just playing with all the little gizmos and gadgets for most of the flight. And again, everybody at Delta as always does. This video isn't sponsored by Delta. However, if a Delta executive is watching this and wants to sponsor me for free air travel... I won't say no. Mama raised me not to be ungrateful. Anyways, uh, so then on our way back, uh, for whatever reason, the plane got super delayed going out of uh, Orlando. So by the time we were going to be uh, into uh, into Atlanta to make our connection, we basically had like a 20-minute run in front of us. And my mom's got a knee brace, and her knee's in okay-ish shape, but she definitely cannot run. So we get out of the plane... Uh, we basically tell the flight attendant, hey, we're on one of those flights that you just named off that's going to be uh, maybe missing a connection. We're just going to sneak out of here right away. And like, yep, no problem. Go. So we, uh, we get out of the plane and we're in the little sky bridge thing there, which the name I'm forgetting. And there's a guy from Delta holding our names on a sign. My mom's almost ran past him, but I I compulsively read like every sign. So I'm like, hold up. We're, this is us. Dude's like, great, we're going to drive you to your connection. What? What? You're driving us to our connection? He's like, yeah. So we uh, go out the ladder. Uh, they take us right out of the sky bridge thing there, uh, down the ramp onto the tarmac, and there's a Porsche waiting for us. 
and they drive us in this Porsche to our connecting flight. I've never been in a Porsche either. No, I'm I'm not this I'm not this fancy of a person. I'm you know I'm a I'm a blue collar-ish worker. Blue co I'm like a hybrid blue collar white collar worker. I don't talk about my job because you know privacy on the internet is a is a thing I I subscribe to. But anyways, so as it turns out, that's a service that's normally reserved for Delta senior VPs or VIPs of some nature, which me and my mom are neither of those things. But if there's a slow downtime, and we were flying out of Atlanta at this point, like 10 o'clock at night, they will, uh, they said that they will, how do they phrase it? Just pick names, see who's going to be missing, potentially missing connections. And, and just take them to their connection. And that was so cool to me. Uh, you know, I've never ridden in a Porsche before. I probably never will. I don't really care for Porsches that much, but... Anyways, that was super cool. So it was a very cool travel experience. And Disney World was also cool too. I got a picture with uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. We basically we basically talked about how we were both too sober for this shit. And there's a reason there's no kids in Tortuga. Take that as you will. I want to target that guy. But yeah, vacation was fantastic, you know. Disney World isn't a relaxing vacation. Ooh, Matryoshka is a really good one to have. Ooh. Ooh. Eh. Okay, could I deal with a multi-ball? No, I don't think I could. So I'm going to take Sealed Conviction there. I'll lose a discard, but whatever. It's fine. Disney World is always a fun vacation, but it's never a relaxing vacation. After you're done with Disney, you feel like you need a vacation after your vacation. But, uh, you know, it was just me and my mom. We had a good time, went on all the rides, rode the new Guardians of the Galaxy uh, uh, Cosmic Rewind roller coaster, which was sweet. Uh, if there's any executives from Disney that want to sponsor me, I'm not sponsored by Disney currently, but if you want to sponsor me, well, Mama raised me not to be ungrateful. I won't say no. Anyways, moving on. Overall, very good, all very good vacation. A lot of fun. Stayed at the Coronado Springs Resort. It was, it was good. Had a lot of fun. But not as much fun as I'm having right now, being with you guys playing Peglin. Ooh. Ooh. The bomb orb. We're gonna blow up the whole screen with this build. You know what? Upgraded twice. I have way too many orbs in my inventory slot, but we're going to blow up the whole screen. Uh, immune to damage. Uh, I'd like to be immune to damage, please. This should be pleasant. Whoa! I think I dealt a little too much damage. Yeah, I think I've got... Yeah, now I've blown away all my bombs, and all my good orbs are towards the bottom. I need to sell a few. So with... Uh, since this is like a roguelike... Not quite like a deck builder, but, you know, you get to build out your uh, inventory here. As with uh, most games like this, it's really best to try and keep a small selection of orbs. Now, I'm kind of breaking my own rule here because I haven't been able to figure out what the hell this build is. But, again, if you've come to me for Crucible tips, you've really come to the wrong place. Finally. Oh, I whiffed that real bad. Oh god, I am just... I am throwing this game really bad. Okay, let's try and redeem myself here. I'm not redeeming myself here. There we go. Now he's dead. So with the inclusion of the uh, the money... Nope. Save your pennies. Get rid of an orb. Sell your pennies. Sell your pennies. Get rid of an orb. I'm removing an orb. I'm removing this orb. Very good. 
with the inclusion of this whole money mechanic thing here, which I'm still kind of on the fence about it if I like that or not. But anyways, with the inclusion of that, uh, the Matryoshka Ball is really nice because it'll hit a lot more orbs and collect you a lot more money. Let's try and hit... Oh, that's all the enemies here, so I'm not going to be shy about hitting bombs now. This is so easy on Crucible 5. I forgot how easy this game could actually be. Ow. Oh, oh, ew, oh god. Oh goodness gracious. Oh, I, I'm throwing this game so bad. What is it that the, the streamers say? I'm a bot. I'm a bot. I'm behaving like such a bot. Subscribe now to make me stop doing cringy, cringy streamer things. Like begging for subscriptions. Yeah, I'm happy with that. But, uh, what was the other cool thing that I did at Disney? Uh, Disney's just overall, like, a really cool vacation spot. You know, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy my time when I'm there. I'm always sad to leave, but when I get home, I'm always, like, relieved that I'm finally out of there. Whoa, that was really delayed. I wonder if it's because I'm playing on such a fast speed that it's... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Easy claps, boy. And see, I'm practicing my cringe streamer lingo. How am I doing? Rate my, stri my cringe streamer humor down below. If you like it, leave a comment. If you don't like it... Eh. If you don't like it, leave me money and I'll stop. I was really hoping to be blowing up the screen a lot more than I am right now. Yeah, this'll about do. Oh, this is a really good throw. Alright, let's see if we really can't get a... Oh, that's a good crit spot. Oh yeah, this one's gonna hurt. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh, I'm also going to Metallica in November. I don't know if I've talked about that at all, but I'm, I'm gonna go see Metallica in November. I'm super stoked about that. The new Metallica album? Uh, the, the new, the two new, the two new singles that they dropped are tight. Very toit. Toit like a toyger. Alright, we got this guy. No problems whatsoever. Oh, look at it. It's just... Oh, big numbers go up. Make Brain do the happy dance. What is it? Uh, what is it that they say? Big numbers go up. Make Brain make the happy juice. I could also be the only one that's saying that. Uh, for every connecting orb, the same type. Prevent the first time you would take lethal damage. Every shot is a crit when... I'm going to take the Sash of Focus. Yeah, I'll just skip that question mark. It could be a boss. I don't really feel like facing another boss. I feel like we're plenty powered up right now. I guess Pocket Sand's okay. I wonder if that's supposed to be a reference to King of the Hill. Pocket Sand! I was just about to say, since this relic was offered in the beginning, do I not get it anymore? But now I have a disc... Now I have a... I almost said I have a Discord back. Now I got my discards back! Uh, Force of Stone of the Orbalisk. There we go. Now we're running, rocking a lean, mean, we're a lean, mean deck fighting machine. Oh, Christ. This is going to deal like no damage. That's a big number. Oh, come on, hit that reset. Hit that reset. Come on. Ah. 
bastard. Ooh. Owie. Here we go. Hit the reset. Yeah! And Orbalisk. I'm sorry. Matroshka Orb. Take her away. Oh, look at that. Whoa. That's... That's a big number. Screw it, I can't take the money with me when I'm dead. I gotta kill this asshole somehow. Uh... Okay. Let's see what happens here. Whoa. What the hell did happen there? Oh! Whoa! I wonder if I have a... Hit that crit. Hit that crit. Yeah! Oh, man. That's disgusting. That's a disgusting hit. This is about to be even more so. Alright, now I gotta try and hit that reset down there. Come on, Matryoshka. Oh, shit. That reset's in a really bad spot now. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, just work with me here. Work with me, work with me. to die because I can't hit the damn reset. Oh, thank goodness. This run is saved. Alright, now let's get some work done. That is not the work I wanted to get done. But we can save this run yet. This guy will die. Oh, there we go. He is awfully close now. Okay. Better. Very good, very good, but... Oh god, we're gonna die here. Oh god, oh god, it's over. We're dead. We died. That reset being in that just absolute shit spot screwed us. I have one more shot to kill him, but it's not going to happen. Oh, I can't believe I died. This is so embarrassing. Ah. Ah, that's embarrassing. Damn it. Well... Uh, thank you very much for watching this video of Peglin. You know, I, I kind of want to rep in more indie games as uh, into the channel, not just through Minecraft. You know, I like to, I, most of my time is spent in indie games anyway. So if there's any indie games you guys want me to try in the future, let me know. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you in our next episode. Mm -hmm.